Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So, as you know, Thursday means it's Tier Thursday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and this week we are heading to Modern to look at a deck that's always hanging around in the format. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. Right now, it's actually kind of near the top of the format, and that is Modern Merfolk. So this exact build comes from Chris Kidwell, who took it to a top 8 finish at a SCG Modern IQ. However, it's a tier deck, and most Merfolk decks are going to be within maybe four cards. The list is fairly well set in stone. There's a small number of flex slots, but for the most part, People are playing uh, 56, 57 of the same 60 main deck cards in the deck. So a quick reminder before we break down Modern Merfolk, if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Modern Merfolk is built around the Merfolk Lords, and the one thing that Merfolk does better than any other tribe in modern is have really strong two mana lords most lords for most tribes start at three mana there are some two mana lords but merfolk is the only tribe i believe that has two different two mana lords that are actually really good so Lord of Atlantis and Master of the Pearl Trident are essentially the same card. Master of the Pearl Trident is like a functional reprint. The main difference is Lord of Atlantis has the weird old wording where it gives a benefit to all merfolk. Since it's a merfolk lord, it doesn't matter if you have them or your opponent has them. They all get plus one, plus one in Island Walk. Master of the Pearl Trident fixes this and makes it so it only impacts the merfolk you control. So the main idea of this deck is to slam a bunch of merfolk lord, make your random merfolk folk dorks really big and then island walk over for victory and you might be wondering well how do i island walk over for victory not everyone plays islands and the trick here is spreading seas so spreading seas isn't a great magic card it does cycle which means the bar is pretty low but basically you just turn a land into an island and you get to draw a card so this is mostly in the merfolk deck so you can island walk over against any deck even if your opponent isn't playing blue isn't playing islands also gives you some nice fringe hate against like Tron or something. You can randomly steal some wins just by turning Tron pieces into islands and whatnot. The deck also has a really good three mana lord in Mirror Regery. And the main upside of this one is it really lets you explode out of the gates because whenever you cast a Merfolk, you get to tap or untap a permanent. So most of the time how this works is you're going to cast a Merfolk and then untap one of your lands so you can cast even more Merfolk or maybe you're untapping a Mutavolt so you can tap with it. And then once you kind of empty your hand and play a bunch of stuff, you can switch modes and tap down some of your opponent's blockers to make sure you get through damage. So there's a lot of upside there, and it's giving you all your Merfolk plus one plus one as well. The finisher in the deck is pretty much Master of Waves, although really... Just stacking up a bunch of Lord of Atlantis effects, Merfolk, Lords with Island Walk, and then Island Walking over for a ton of damage gets the job done as well. But since you have so many double blue cards, Lord of Atlantis, Master of Pearl Tridents, so many blue mana symbols, you're often getting three, four, five elementals, sometimes even more than that. So Master of Waves, four, four mana is often making 10, 14 power, and so it just closes out the game really quickly. Either your opponent has a way to answer the Master of Waves, or they're just like, dead on the very next turn. Silver Gill Adept is also really key because it gives the deck a bit of card advantage. It's a merfolk, so it's already doing what you want. Just being a body that gets the benefit from all your merfolk lords as a blue mana symbol for Master of Waves, but it's card neutral since when it enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card. So that's finding you more lords and more merfolk, so it's really one of the best cards in the entire deck. As far as disrupting the opponent, Curse Catcher, Merfolk, Force Spike, Spell Pierce type card, gives the deck a one mana play apart from Aether Vial, which we'll talk about in a minute, uh, but it's just a random Merfolk, helps you protect your lord, Spell Pierce, literal Spell Pierce, not a Merfolk, but it fizzles a Path to Exile, an Anger of the Gods, a Wrath of God, cards that are really good, sweeper type of effects that can really mess up your plans, and then Harbinger of Tides lets you bounce one of your opponent's things, as long as they're tapped, you can even flash it in if you have enough 
mana. And then Kira Great Glass Spinner and Venser Shaper Savant. These are sort of the flex slots. You'll see most Merfolk decks are going to have the Kira because it's really good at protecting your stuff. It's not a Merfolk, but it essentially fizzles the first targeted removal spell at any of your creatures. So if your opponent wants to kill your Lord of Atlantis, they're going to have to Lightning Bolt it twice or Path the Exile it twice. Venser is definitely a flex slot. You don't normally see this in Merfolk, but it's a really powerful card, so I guess it's just kind of in the deck because it's blue and it can be. The other characteristic part of the Merfolk deck is Aether Vial, and this is an extremely explosive card in Merfolk. This is what you want on turn one. On turn one, Aether Vial is just about one of the best magic cards ever printed. It's going to cheat on so much mana over the course of the game. You tick it up, on turn two, you can put a Curse Catcher into play, on turn three, you can put a Lord into play, on turn four, you can put another Lord into play, on turn five, you can put a Master Waves into play. By that point, you've cheated, I don't know, 12 mana or something with a single Aether Vial, so it's very, very, very very strong because it allows you to cast a lord and put another lord into play so you're getting double the mana a turn essentially the downside is it's a really bad top deck on like turn four turn five when you really need that merfolk lord to finish the game and you rip an ether vial eh, not great in the mana base, Mutavolt's a big one. Since it's all creature types, it takes advantage of all your lords, often can attack for like 4 or 5 damage on its own. It gets Island Walk from your lords as well, so just a great creature land in this deck. Ghost Quarter to disrupt opposing creature lands and Tron lands. A Benamo, School at Water's Edge, basically just a free roll. There's not really a whole lot you can do with it, but it's a blue source that gets around Choke is the main idea for why it's in the deck. It's a blue source that's not an island, so you can still play your Aether Vial, even if your opponent chokes you post-sideboarding. And then, a bunch of islands. In the sideboard, Tidebinder Mage and Dismember are the deck's removal. Tidebinder is a merfolk, only hits green and red creatures, oh, but great at tapping down a Tarmogoy for a scavenging use. Hercules Recall and Echoing Truth help against artifacts in general, like Affinity, also key against Ensnaring Bridge. Merfolk in the main deck, I guess this build can because of Venser, but most builds of merfolk really struggle with Ensnaring Bridge, so you want a way to bounce that spell in specific. Relic and Graft Digger's Cage for Graveyards, and then Spell Sky into Spell, just a bit more protection against combo decks, burn decks, and so forth. And that is Modern Merfolk, and that's been our Tier Thursday Instant Deck Deck for this week. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.